Howdy everybody, Mark here from Bugsy's Dad uh, Enterprises. We're going to take apart, uh, partially take apart, this uh, Jefferson clock. Uh, I've got a customer that I'm making this for. It's taken me forever to get things together for it. But um, basically what we need to do is take off the uh, chapter ring here. It's a simple, simple, simple matter. Uh, you need one, maybe two screwdrivers, depending on uh, what we're going to find on the screws here. Uh, you're going to start by uh, unplugging the clock, of course. And then we're going to take this screw right out of the base. You're going to laugh. This is so simple when I get done. Okay. And make sure you don't lose those screws someplace. I've got them coated with a anti-rust compound that makes them kind of dark and a little bit hard to find on the floor when they go skittering away from you. And a little bit more loosening. And we'll see what kind of treasures we can find inside here. I'm going to get my light out of the way. I don't believe I need it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, goes one, goes the other, and we have the back of the clock off, exposing the innards. And where'd that screw go? It went someplace. Ah, here we go. Now, here's what we're looking for in here. <clears throat> First of all, there's no question about it, this is one of my restoration jobs, restoration jobs. You'll see the way I've got the wire nuts arranged there and the motor. Now, this is where I... Uh, uh, the only thing that we need to pay a little bit of attention to, a little more attention to, is the motor. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take these out, but I'm going to loosen these up just a little tiny bit, these motor mounts. And I'll explain that here in a second. There's only these two of them. Don't take them out all the way. You'll be fighting them. Now, see there? I've got a little tiny, tiny bit of play in the motor, and that's what I want. So now we're going to move up to the chapter ring itself. Okay, now, be super careful because we have the ring and the air hand mechanism up here. They're going to break if you drop them. I promise you they will. Okay, screw number one. It's a long screw. It's no big deal. Let's work it out there. Got it. Put it aside where you're not going to lose it. Now, I'm supporting the chapter ring with my finger up under here, you can see. Right there, because I don't want it to drop awake entirely. <clears throat> Loosen that up. Finish this up here. Get my big mitts out of the way. Keep fighting it. Still working on this video. By the way, I got a new phone here, and uh, this is going to be an interesting experiment to see how my video works on this phone. And that came out, and guess what? We have the chapter ring right in front of us. Okay? Now, normally, if we were taking this off and taking it down completely, we would unscrew this in the air hand mechanism and pull that minute hand out. Now, I have another video online. Uh, under Bugsy's Dad Enterprises, it shows you how to reinstall and uh, calibrate that thing so the hour and the minute hand is set up correctly. The only other thing I want to show you here before we wrap this up <clears throat> is if for some reason we have to go into here and take this out, take this ring off, it's a fairly simple method, but again, you're going to need to use some caution now. I have to be careful with this one because I have put a little couple little drops of the acrylic super glue on that. Now, see that ring pops up. Now what we're going to do here is lift it up and slide it over to this first little spot and it pops free. Simple, right? Pops right free for you. All right, and from that point you could proceed to take out the crystal and there's our drive gear and make sure if you do this see the see the tension springs here you got one two three 
make sure you keep them pointing up when you reassemble this or you're going to have big problems. All right, so let's snap it back together. Drop it right down into its spot. Okay. Now, this is how I do it. I'm going to kind of align it down here because it's got the opening where the gear fits through it. I'm going to push them down. Slide it up under those little tabs there. And sometimes it takes a little bit of tinkering around with it. And then you can slide it over until that notch there lines. Okay, and we're going to go back to the screwdriver. Now be gentle here. Put it in from the side like this because we don't want to damage that gear under there. If you just lift it up and push down on it, boom, it'll pop into place. And you'll notice it's seated perfectly there for us. And from this point, it's just going to be the reverse of what we did to get this thing back together. Make sure to get it facing the correct way. Put it up like this. Right. Now, I usually do this in a funny way. I'm not going to show you, but I use to put it between my legs and, and handle it. Now, you need to jiggle this a little bit to get it started, and it'll go right in for you. That's one. This is two. Okay, there we go. Getting that in, getting that in. Here and support it. I want you to tighten them pretty good. Back and forth a couple times, right? Cross, we don't want to cross torque everything. A little bit there. Tighten that there. Okay, now what I want you to do is we loosen this motor up a little bit to make sure it goes back into alignment. I want you to push it upwards with your thumb like that. And just hold it in place, crank these down, do not forget this step. Some of them have enough play that when you're done with them, the motor will disengage and the clock going to be no worky. Okay, got those all tightened up, tighten up, just to make sure you didn't forget, we'll do another little squeeze on that and I think you can figure out how to get this back on. Notice there's a little notch down here at the bottom, right here. <laughs> it fits into that, and it lines up, and you can put your two screws in it. And that's about all it takes to get this uh, taken apart. Again, be careful with this, uh, the hour hand and the, and the minute hand mechanism there. You don't want to damage that if you pop it out. But one thing that could possibly happen from time to time, it's not occur very often, but the clock may quit working because one of those springs that I showed you in there, the three springs, gets pushed out of position. So make sure they get back in and the spring goes this way, right? The hump goes up, hump up, hump up, just like the camel. All right, if you got any more questions, you know how to get all to me. New N-E-W, M-E-W, 185 at gmail.com. Mark from Bugsy's Dad Enterprises. See ya.